I'm sitting here with Marcus Luther, who is the CEO of the German Hotel Association. Marcus, you've just given a presentation of the end of, rate, of the rate parity saga. That sounds very interesting. For those who weren't attending, what would be three key takeaways that you'd like to, to offer? We have a final decision by the highest German court uh, by now that uh, the antitrust authority in Germany was right to ban Booking.com from wide and narrow rate parity uh, closes. So the whole case started somewhere in 2010 and was ended 11 years after. So it, that was a reason to, uh, to have a sheer and uh, to inform uh, the, the audience and to invite them to make use of the new liberty they have got. Okay, good. Any other areas that you'd like to, that, that were of importance for you that you really wanted to try to impress upon the audience? Yes, um, I wanted to emphasize that this was not just a decision uh, according to German law, it was European law that was applied. So we think that now the EU institutions uh, um, should deal with this and uh, have a clear saying, uh, a ban on rate parity clauses. And uh, that's a good uh, opportunity. We have uh, in Parliament uh, at the moment, the European Parliament, the vertical block extension regulation. And we think there should be a ban on parity clauses per se, so that there is no excuse, for instance, for Expedia telling in Germany, we are below 15% market share. That's why we are allowed to use it we call the authorities to stop this. Right, right. Okay, great. And then finally, what would be currently, for you, for you and your organization, three top focal areas, given the current climate that we're all dealing with at the moment? It's, it's of course, still Corona. Yeah. Uh, we all fear the, the measures the governments may take in Germany, according to the fourth wave. But with regard to our narrow business that we, we have, it's, of course, that we uh, start to fight uh, the monopolies in the uh, portal economy that more and more take over uh, the business uh, from the, the hotel. I think this is the main focus and uh, some minor aspects uh, at the moment in Germany is a package travel directive. Mm. We have to rearrange in Germany until the 1st of November completely the way of uh, how to ensure the, the package uh, mm. uh, travel. And uh, we have, of course, a focus on the hotels that they are still able to, to offer packages and yeah. uh, they have to fight an insurance company for this. Yeah, this right. is what we are dealing with at the moment. Okay. And uh, just finally, one other question. Um, we're, we're coming into an election here in Germany. Um, depending on the outcome of that election, what's your foresight? How do you feel about the ongoing support for the industry as a whole, especially now we're coming into winter, if um, variants of, of the virus start to spread out more and things start to become tighter in terms of um, uh, liberties and freedoms, uh, how, do you, um, how do you expect things could result? Is there anything that's concerning you about that? Yes, we are concerned about this. Uh, there is a need that the state aid goes on beyond uh, the election day and yeah. uh, some parties are rather reluctant to do so or do it only orally and others uh, do it actively and have proven yeah. that they are at the si side by side uh, to the industry and of course uh, we cannot afford another uh, lockdown yeah. and uh, we look of course for a more liberal regime. Mm -hmm. Okay great Marcus thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.